So if you're like me and you have a maker business where you do a lot of laser engraving, or maybe you just have a collection of, of imagery that you use for projects that you're creating, well, you probably have the same problem I had, which is how do you create imagery? How do you manage imagery? And how do you catalog it in a way that you can recall it really quickly or put it into collections that you can use for specific projects? Well, I'm happy to say that a tool I was already using has been greatly expanded. And in this video, I will show you how I'm now using that tool, how I've changed my workflow and how it's saving me time. And you can do it too, so let's get started. So when I started my business, one of the first things I did was I created a folder to contain all of my variants of logos. And that folder became very unruly and I've popped it up here to show you what it looks like today. But this thing used to have a whole lot more in it and I've refined a lot of it. And through all of this, I, I, it became a real struggle. I was using Inkscape for most of my graphics design and it worked pretty well, except that there was no way to manage anything. So I had this big folder it sometimes had PNGs, sometimes it had SVGs, sometimes they were color, black and white, some fragment of my logo. It was just a nightmare. So I moved over to Kittle from Inkscape and while the authoring of things got a whole lot easier, management actually got a little more difficult because in Kittle, until recently, I would open a project and it contained one image. So in a sense, it was a file. And I had lots of those in Kittle. Now, Recently, I logged into Kittle and I was completely shocked because they added this new button and this button changed my life. It's the subject of this video and it's all about artboards and I'll show you what artboards did for me, what they are, how to create them, how they can improve your own workflow and what I do now. All right, the most obvious place to start when we're talking about artboards is answer that basic question. What the heck is an artboard? Well, this is one. This is actually a project I created with the original version of Kittle where one image to one project. But you can see when I opened it here, it got converted to the new version of Kittle. And that actually put a title up at the top of my canvas. And that's because what used to be a canvas is now, is now an artboard. And we'll talk a bit more about it, but you can see it has a title here, Artboard 1. And I can actually just go rename that. I'll call it Logo 1 just for the sake of argument. And you can see, of course, that it also has a bunch of wasted space. So if I pick up, if I just click on the title that I created there, you can see the canvas size here is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. And I wanna compress this down a little bit so I don't waste so much space. So I'll change that to a thousand. And there you can see that now there's a logo on a small, on a small canvas. And you might say, well, that's kind of boring. And if I hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows, I can just pick one of those up and drag it. So now I've made a different copy of this. And one of the things I can do with this is maybe I want this logo to be uh, monochrome. So I can select that and I can change, I'll change the pie slice to some, I don't know, some form of gray. And I'll change the, the pie symbol itself from green to maybe a darker color, let's say darker gray. And now I have a grayscale version of this of this logo. Now I'll use the artboard button to, to click, and this is the one I mentioned at the top that changed my life. And I can actually just create a, an artboard of some various size. I can then go resize it if I want. But what I can do with this is I, I can copy this thing and I'll come down here and I'll paste it and now I have another version of my logo with just the simple logo. So now I have a collection of artboards that I can use for all of my branding and I can pick these things up individually and move them around. Again, I can, I can change the titles. Uh, this one, because we cloned it, it actually says logo two, but I'll change it to logo three. Uh, we'll call this one logo one. So now that I've got them all named, uh, what I can do with these is I, I can pick and choose them as I need them. In going back to my original Inkscape world where I had Inkscape and then a, f a folder full of files, uh, here I, ha I can see them all in one place, which is nice. But more importantly, when I want to download one and use it for something, I can, I can pull this, the, the download option down. And if you play with the old version of Kittle, this used to have just a bunch of file formats in it. But now I have, certainly the file formats are still there. So let's say I want to do an SVG file. 
but you'll see up here there's a bunch of art boards and they're all three of them are there and by default i'll pick them it'll pick them all and, and download them as svgs but it'll put it in a zip file uh, if i just want one of them let's say i just want this one i can just select that and then I can choose the size I want. I can certainly remove the background if I want to. I can improve the quality and then I can just say download and it'll go download into my downloads folder. Now let's take a look at this from a maker's perspective. And what I wanna do is I wanna make some coasters. Now, normally if I had a set of coasters, I'd have four different SVG files for those. And, uh, and here I can save some time. So what I want is I want a just a logo, a theme on all of them, which is a, the word coffee with a coffee cup. And then I can just create a coaster. So all I, all I can do, or all I have to do is I'll use that magic button up in the corner again, and I'll create a coaster and I'll make it, let's say 600 by 600 pixels. And So there's our, our base coaster and I know I'm going to want this. Now, the reason I created this separately is so that I can do this. I can make as many of these coffee coasters as I want. I'll just copy that and I'll paste it down in here because I know this coaster is going to have the word coffee on it centered somewhere on the screen. So now I can just put a piece of text on there. Let's say, um, let's say we'll do something like Today's, and we'll do that in some sort of bigger font. And we'll actually move this down a bit because what I want to do is I want to copy this and I'll stick it in here and say today's good mood is broad to you by coffee. So let's take that and we'll make that font a little smaller. It's, it's pretty big there. So I'll shrink that down a bit to use the whole width of the screen. Now I want this to be two lines just for effect. So let me just blow this up again. That's not too bad. So today's good mood. And we can make this a little bigger because we want to emphasize that it's today. And today's good mood is brought to you by coffee. And we'll center all of that on the coaster. So there's coaster number one. Now, if I want to make another one of these, I can use that, that alt or, or option key and just create another one. And in this case, I will say, I like, and we'll put our coffee in the middle here. I like coffee. And maybe three people. So there's our, our second coaster. And you can see how quickly I created that. More importantly, I can always come back to this. If I come up with another brilliant idea for a coaster, I can put it in here and then I can sell these as sets or just people can buy them individually. But uh, I'll put, I'll make a set of four here and I'll stick them in, but it's all here, it's all in one spot. And if somebody says, I, I want coaster two, and we'll call this one coaster two. Again, I can just say, I can just select this one and say download and coaster two will already be selected and i want to put it set, send it as uh, an svg file and i'll export that and then i can bring it into something like lightburn and do a quick engrave or i can engrave all four of them at the same time if i make a little jig i can just put four different coasters on there and do it that way as well so hopefully you can see how these artboards can make your life as a maker so much easier if you're making any kind of collection where it's maybe a bunch of coasters or keychains or any kind of collection where you have variants of things. This will save you so much time and it, it has changed my workflow. So uh, I've completely given up on Inkscape even though it's free. 
uh, Kittle is around $10 a month, I think, and it's worth every penny. So keep that in mind. I'll put a, a, a discount code in the description down below. It'll save you 25% off the first month if you're paying for Kittle. There's also a free version. You can go get a feel for Kittle to, to see how it looks. And with that, I'll wind down and uh, get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.